Tonga is beautiful. It's amazing. It's home to many, many whales during the summer. The sun's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. People are very friendly and nice. Water is a bit chilly, but lovely. Very deep, which I think is good for the whales. And sometimes a bit intimidating in terms of you don't see what's underneath you at all. With a mother and calf, which is to me the most amazing. You have the mother, the calf, sometimes they're traveling, a lot of the time they're just sitting there, um, spending their time together under the surface. And uh, it's the most amazing thing for me to see as a mother and her child um, underwater with the love and the respect and the communication and the, um, and the coordination that they have. Uh, last week you saw we had a crazy whale which literally was bumping into us, following me. I swam away from, me, from it, it followed me again. It was right there the whole time. And as amazing as it was, I was a little bit intimidated by it, with the idea of hurting it with my camera, the idea of it possibly pushing me around. We have heat runs, so where there's usually one female and up to 20 males behind her hoping to mate with her. So I once heard there were 22 in, 22 in a heat run. I've never seen more than 12. But I hear people say it's 15, 16 males, sometimes behind one female. Sometimes with a calf in tow. So which I think must be a little bit scary for the calf to see 10 or 11 suitors chasing after their mum uh, to make love to her. Um, but so those were amazing. For me, they're much harder to photograph because there's so many whales, they're going very, very fast. They're not paying attention to you at all. They're not reacting to you at all. But it's very hard to position yourself with the camera or even to position yourself to watch. And because it's so fast, for me, it's hard to enjoy as much as longer with a group of adults or a mother and a calf. I think only the males sing. I don't know why. I think that they usually have the same song all around the world, whether it's Hawaii or here or the Arctic. I think no one knows how they developed a different song, how they develop a different song every year. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why they sing. I think males usually to attract females. And a few days ago when we heard the singing, there were these very weird sort of guttural clicks in between this very high-pitched song, which changed, sometimes sounded different to it, sometimes it was high-pitched, sometimes low-pitched. But there was this very weird kind of every now and again, which I have never heard before. I've been coming here for four years, I've never heard it. Never seen it on a film, never heard it in a, in a soundtrack. I have no idea what was happening with that. the most amazing is the mum and the mum and calf. So if they're calm, if they're quiet, if they're not swimming away from you, uh, if they're interacting, uh, for me that's the most amazing thing you can possibly see. The heat runs are fantastic but they're so fast and they're so sort of boisterous. I wouldn't say violent but boisterous and crazy and accelerated that I have a very hard time positioning myself to photograph them. And, uh, and as much as I find them impressive, I find it much less interesting to watch and much less pleasant and emotionally touching to watch their mother and calves and have an engagement together. Some whales, they don't like to, to be... Some whales, and when they're busy, they don't want to be with humans, and sometimes I think they probably get tired or bored, just like we do when we have someone stay for dinner too long, or we're not feeling very social, we spend the day with colleagues or friends, you sometimes want to be on your own. So I think the whales sometimes get bored of people. And, uh, and we're very lucky when they're not bored with us and when they stay still. And sometimes they think that we get the whales after other people have spent an hour with them, an hour and a half, and I'm sure they just want to leave. Yeah. But, uh, but that time was incredible.